So we're starting on our property management division uh, for local properties, investors, and things of that nature. Okay. Do you have any words of wisdom in that arena? Oh, God, I've got tons on that. Um, I mean, there's a hundred different questions about running property management. Um, a couple things, use it for the right reason would be my first thought. Property management isn't particularly profitable unless you've got massive volume. So unless you're going to run four or 500 properties, the property management department really isn't that profitable for the liability you buy. Not on its own, but it should be plugged into a real estate brokerage for several reasons. Mm -hmm. Think of it almost like a loss leader. You know, where they advertise something at 99 cents to get you into the store and then you buy $100 worth of stuff. Right. I want you to look at it in those terms. Okay. Um, property management um, is a great service and value add to offer. And your property manager should be a really good closer. Mm -hmm. And I want to equate this to like a car dealership. The salesman shows you the car, then whoever's pretending to be manager that day comes in and closes you. Right? Well, let me get my manager to close you. So this is what you want to use this for. When your agents are out there showing investor properties, especially if they're an out-of-state investor, which in Florida I know is real common, yes. um, the first thing they ask, well, if I buy this property, who's going to take care of it? Mm -hmm. So you say, hey, let me walk you over to Susie, our property manager. Okay. Susie now becomes the professional closer. Not a problem. We've got plenty of tenants ready to go. Oh, what a great property you're buying. Oh, that's going to cash flow nicely. I have no problem. They almost become your professional closer. So it'll increase your sales as well for those two reasons. Tells the investor, yes, don't worry, we've got it taken care of because that's something that's concerning to them. And now you've had somebody else close them again to get the deal done. So that's one of the real benefits that you want to use it for. Uh, the next thing is property management gives you several things. You now have a whole list of tenants that will eventually buy. So you want to constantly be marketing and staying in touch with the tenants and treating them nicely. Yes. Okay? Because you want them to buy a house from you because eventually they will. Unless they're perpetual renters, which is another story. But I think a lot of companies, the property managers, well, they're kind, of, they're kind of tougher, rougher on the tenants than they need to be. You can be firm, but still nice. You want that tenant to have a good feeling about the company, all right, so that when they're ready to buy, you have access. Because you're going to know first, because they'll tell you and give you your 60 days notice. Why are you giving us notice? Oh, we're going to my house. Great, let me help you. All right, so that's a, another benefit. So... There's one other thing you do want to do, though, and you have to be really careful of. I don't recommend that you have your property management in the same office okay. as your retail real estate agents. Right? And there's a reason why. Um, you want it close, either on another floor, another wing of the building, somewhere else, but not directly connected. Because you are going to have some wacko tenants, and you do not need a wacko tenant screaming their head off in your reception area when you have agents bringing buyers and sellers in right. trying to look professional and sell. All right? I, I could tell you more horror stories about that from not only myself but other people. Mm -hmm. So keep it close by because you want that property manager kind of like the professional closer like in a car dealership. Mm -hmm. But you want a separate entrance. You also want like a separate rent drop off where they can drop rent checks, especially in the evening as well. Um, and better yet – whenever you can with your tenants, try to get them on ACH where you okay. debit their account every month. Keeps life much simpler. Uh, a lot of good software that does that real easily. But okay. think of your property management as the loss leader to feed business, not today, but next year and the year after and the year after. Um, the other thing that you probably want to do is your property manager needs to have a really good relationship with the agents. Mm -hmm. And typically, you'll see the ads all the time. You get, all the agents get flyers, $300 for your property management referral. Mm -hmm. Make sure that your agents are referring your property management, so give them a referral or bonus fee, because okay. if not, somebody else is going to buy them from you. Okay. If that happens. Yeah. So those are a couple things that you want to deal with it. Okay. The rest is pretty much standard.